Yeah, for our last uh, uh, relativity lecture here, there's just, uh, you know a couple of loose ends, and specifically, I wanted to talk about you know bring everything back together towards Einstein's original you know idea, which was uh, how to transform the laws of physics that mesh with um, electricity and magnetism, um, or how to transform coordinates so that electricity and magnetism is working in all frames. And then we'll um, we'll review and uh, kind of give again the most essential ideas for this is relativistic, relativistic dynamics, but there's two specific. Uh, uh, kind of corollaries from that, or, or avenues that I want to take that. Uh, the first is how we how we understand how the inside of the sun works by understanding how relativistic mass works. And so we'll actually go through the exact process by by which our sun creates its energy at the core of its you know at the core of the inferno through um, nuclear fusion. And the other thing I want to apply that to is massless particles. Which, if you kind of think in your head, uh, an example of a massless particle. Hopefully, you have at least one in mind. Um, but this, the reason why I want to kind of finish with this is this is the perfect kind of bridge towards quantum physics. This is going to be a weird creature, and that just introduces the even weirder weirdness that we're going to see in a, the next few weeks over quantum physics. So I think it's kind of a cool, you know, like jumping off point because we're going to jump right on a moving ship. Um, and by the way, so everything here falls within the, the, the realm of modern physics, which I've always thought were, well, I never had a, cl a class in modern, I think I mentioned that, but by modern physics, we mean physics that is almost exactly a hundred years old, like literally to this decade. So it's quite modern in the sense of like uh, civilization, but not very modern in the sense of like the progress of modern, you know, technology. So anyway, we, we basically just mean uh, physics that broke Newton's rules, uh, relativity and then quantum. So let's go ahead and start on um, just kind of the connection here, and I'm, we're basically going to review one of, you know, the essential relativistic problems.